Hi, I'm Tati, and I have book mail. So it's been a little while since I have filmed anything. Because I have been in a reading slump, I haven't picked up a book in at least a month. But hopefully, <laughs> this is going to change that. So let me open it up and show you what I got. And this is the final gambit. So this is the final gambit, the Barnes and Noble exclusive edition, which is the third book in the Inheritance Games trilogy. Jennifer Lynn Barnes is one of my all-time favorite authors, and the Inheritance Games has been one of my all-time favorite series since it started coming out. So I've been highly anticipating this final book, and I've finally it. So my plans for this video is that it's going to be a bit of a reading vlog, hopefully to get me out of my reading slump. I'm going to be rereading the first two books in the trilogy, The Inheritance Games and The Hawthorne Legacy, and then I will be finishing by reading The Final Gambit because I'm somebody who loves to reread and this will be my last chance to reread these first two books without knowing how it ends. I have managed to avoid spoilers for the end of the series so far, so the ending is a complete mystery to me. Plus I've also found that rereading an old favorite book is a great way to get out of a reading slump, and so I'm going to start with the Inheritance Games, and I will be back soon. <laughs>
So quick update, I have finished reading the first book. Again, this is like the third time I've read it and it still holds up. I still really, really love it. Still five out of five stars. And I'm really enjoying being back in this world with these characters and these mysteries. And so I'm jumping straight into my reread of the second book. And I really honestly cannot wait to get to the third book but I don't remember everything that happens in the second book, so I do have to reread it first. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I have finished the second book, The Hawthorne Legacy. I love this book so much. Still 5 out of 5 stars. And honestly, at the end of this book, I am not sure what the next book is going to be about. Because they've solved the, the their two mysteries, basically. I mean, I'm sure there's more to it and I personally would like to see a few things specifically in the third book. Like what's gonna happen if and when Avery finally actually inherits after living in Hawthorne House for a year. More about Toby and that disc. I guess that's gonna be the mystery is the disc that Toby took back. That's gotta be what it's gonna be about, right? So all of that being said, I'm going to grab the next one, the final one, I assume it's called The Final Gambit, so I assume it's the last one. I'm going to start reading it. I'm so excited for this one. <laughs> Gambit. I had fully intended to sort of vlog 
my reactions as I was reading and my thoughts as I was reading, but I just zoomed through this book. There was no time. <laughs> that being said, I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was a really satisfying ending to the series, and I don't want to get into spoilers, um, but I was really happy with how pretty much everything turned out and how nicely it was wrapped up. There aren't any loose ends that are driving me crazy. Let's put it that way, because I had a feeling with the way the series was that that's how it could have ended with just something you never get to figure out, but I thought it was all wrapped up very nicely. Um, so I'm giving it 5 out of 5 stars. You're not surprised. One of my favorite things about this series is um, the side characters and how they feel like they are living their own stories. They don't exist just to be part of the main character's story. Something else I really love, of course, are the riddles and puzzles and mysteries are always so tricky and fun to see being solved. Never boring, in my opinion. I also really love the romance aspect, of course. After reading the first book, I would have been surprised about how the romance panned out. However, after reading the second book, I'm not surprised by how the romance ended up. And as I've already mentioned, the ending is so satisfying to me. The way that everything panned out after Avery gets her inheritance, is that, is that a spoiler? I don't know. But the way that everything pans out at the end, the decisions that Avery makes and how that that influences her future, I really love that. I really love that last chapter as well um, and what's, what started right at the end. If you've read it, you know. I really, really loved that too. And because this is the Barnes & Noble edition, there is the extra short story, which is a fun read, but is not... It's not necessary for the story to be a good story. You don't need that extra short story, which is something I think is really important. Like, in special edition content or special, like, bonus content you get with only certain editions of the books, I personally feel it's important that it's not necessary for the story to be good or the or for you to understand the ending of the story, um, which is just a little side tangent. It has really nothing to do with this because that's not the case here. It's just a fun little bonus story which if you're a fan of the books, it's fun to read but you don't need it. And it doesn't affect my enjoyment of the story overall or this book in particular or my rating of it. And so coming back from my little side rant, this book is fantastic. The series is fantastic. If you haven't picked it up yet, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, it's all out. You can binge it all at once. And if you have read the series, if you have finished the final book, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye! I don't know how I want to do it in vlogs yet. I've been doing it different ways. It's the absolute worst when I forget to take a thumbnail then I have to try to find something from the whole video where I'm not making a weird face and it just doesn't exist. My dog is about to start barking like crazy because the delivery is here.